Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel or you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Everybody go ahead, like this video, comment down below. Let's get right into it, man. So it's been a lot of concerts, a lot of shows down there in the Southeast with CMG. We got a lot of PRE concerts. Everything is going down because that Labor Day weekend, it was a big, big weekend for a lot of them to do a lot of shows. You had Big Moochie Grape out there. You had a lot of people out there, even... CMG's newest artist, Yo Gotti, signing a lot of people, CMG T-Bone, Tyler, and all them people. And now you got Key Glock back into it. And so what they're doing right now is actually doing a tribute in the beginning of the concert for Dolph. And what you guys got to realize is that that's a better thing, that they're trying to go out there and actually show respect and give condolences and everything. Because a lot of the fans, when, when they open up the concerts, they want to see that. They want to be able to like actually get that and recollect on that reminisce on everything that they've been a fan of in the last all these years right they put a lot of effort into it you know so another thing that's going on is the fact that cmg and black youngster and all the money bag yo what they've been doing is they've been trying to go out there and basically getting into some trouble they've been running into some walls and everything like that and it's a lot of pushback going on because now that finesse two times is signed Honeycomb Brazy, another artist who was actually best friends with Finesse Two Times, he is coming out and, you know, calling Finesse Two Times out for not actually uh, basically paying his dues when it came to he got signed for, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? He just got a brand new deal. And one thing that they talked about when they were best friends is they said that they were basically going to help each other, whoever signs first, whoever gets a mil first or 500K first that they were going to at least give 100K or at least do something to uh, shout out, boost up, or get a cosign for that other artist, man. And so that was the plan all along. You got to understand like that when, when you have two artists that are friends and they do features together, or they do, they really, uh, you know, hang out with each other and all that stuff. When one of them gets signed, what they're supposed to do is take the other one along with them. When they get a record deal with that much dollars, when there's millions of dollars on the table, you're supposed to at least go and help the person that helped you in the beginning. And like this video if you agree, because one thing y'all have to understand is that Honeycomb Brazy has a point of view that he's coming from, which just makes sense to everybody because he's letting them know that, you know, they talked about this before. And it's like, why are you changing your mind now? Why are you turning your back on, on him? And so those are the questions that's being asked. That's why they're basically feuding now. All these arguments back and forth is really just coming out now, but it's been going on in the past. Like while they were working on this deal, while he went with Jay Prince, it was all cool. But then now that he signed the Moneybag Yo, it doesn't make sense because Moneybag Yo is the guy that actually ripped him off in the beginning. And so he's saying, like, why would you go and become business partners with the guy that ripped you off in the beginning? Don't you think that that's going to end the same way unless you think that this person is such a changed man or was it for the money or was it for the fame? Whatever it was, it's not worth it. If somebody ripped you off, they ripped you off, man. That's something you got to take into consideration when you go into any situation. You got to understand that. You can't just make the same mistakes over and over again, man. And that's kind of what we're seeing here. If you've been f keeping along with Finesse two times, he basically he got out after doing five years. But in that time frame, hit all of the songs he recorded, all of the lyrics he had was on the laptop and money bag. Yo, from Memphis, got a hold of that. And basically what he did was use all of those songs and actually put his name on it, recorded it and took it from him and didn't give him any money he made from it. They made millions of dollars off the songs that they took from the guy. And when the guy got out, it was like that little issue was still on the table and a lot of the fans was talking about it, right? And now, like two months later, he goes and signs with the guy that ripped him off and took all the songs. So what's the strategy here? What's the logic behind that? Because if you look at it, that looks like a mistake waiting to happen. It looks like a bad decision to me. And that's just my opinion. But 
one thing you have to understand is that you could see this from a mile away and CMG is sitting back there and rubbing their hands like Yo Gotti's there, like licking his chops because he's like, oh, we're got, we got the opportunity to be able to actually rip this guy off even more. And so because, you know, they're money hungry. And so this whole industry is basically crazy when it comes to people wanting to do this and do that for whatever amount. Right. And so it's, it's nuts and they aren't going to do anything good for his intentions because they ripped him off in the first place so it's like what what is proof is out there what did they settle that makes everybody think that this is okay and when you really look at it like it's a whole revolving door man this thing just keeps going on if it's like one weekend is one thing that happens the next weekend it's another thing and now how are the fans going to deal with it? Because if Finesse two times and Moneybag Yo do a show together, it's people who probably are, are beefing with each other and the fans and the crowd. And so how do you think that's going to end up? Because last time when Yo Gotti tried to do a concert and somewhere it ended up getting out of control, out of hand, and people were rushing out of there, rushing out of the back and literally almost trampling each other. So one thing uh, leads to another and basically, this is just another reason why you cannot trust anybody out there. You got to be able to, you know, see through the BS. You got to see and make sure you with the right people and right wrong people and distinguish it. Right. And basically, finesse two times, like, is he rocking with the right people? Because CMG are the guys that basically are behind the whole hit on Young Dolph. And what you got to understand is that Young Dolph shows and all the PRE shows are way better than the CMG shows. And I know everybody out there has their own opinion on it, but go ahead and comment it down below so we can understand. But you guys got to know that all of Memphis, all of Arkansas and everything like that, they and South Carolina, North Carolina, they all saying when I talk to them and they comment on and go on my DMs on Instagram, they saying that. Hey, Young Dolph shows, PRE shows in general, wait 10 times better than the CMG shows simply because the actual Young Dolph and PRE camp cared about the fans. And CMG and them, they were just stunting on their fans. And the other thing, having problems happen in the crowd and all this stuff, you don't see that happen at a Key Glock show. You don't see that happen at a Snoop Band's concert. And never happened like anything crazy at the Young Dolph concert. And so... That's basically the reason why a lot of people are saying, man, Finesse two times signed with the wrong people. He should have signed with CMG. He should have went with, he should not have signed with CMG. He should have went with PRE. He should have kept that whole side going because that would have added to it. And he didn't really have a beef with Young Dolph. That was all money back Yo's fault. That was Yo Gotti's fault. And they ended up doing him dirty anyway. So what's the reason that he goes back to them? But this whole thing, man, if you ask me, I think it's a bunch of drama. And they should have just did that stuff on their own. He could have probably made 10 times more money on his own. Now he's got to pay back Yo Gotti. And he's going to be telling him what to do and writing a schedule for him. Now he doesn't have the freedom like he used to. And so, but, hey, one thing is that you just got to understand to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and make sure you keep up with the next video. You could go and uh, binge watch all the other ones to actually learn about more of the situation with Moneybag, Yo-Yo, Gotti, Key Glock, all of them. So I'll catch you on the next one.